Hi, welcome to another video from Fox Triple Eight. So, continuing on with the tutorials about changing the movement of the player. So far, I have made the pointer prefab with a plane on it. Make sure that the tag on it says pointer. So now, one thing you want to make sure too is that on the upper right corner of the inspector, make sure it's saying that you actually clicked on pointer. This part says layer. What we are trying to do is make sure that ignore raycast. Meaning as when our raycast hits something, it, it's actually going to hit this object and it's going to fly towards us because it keeps hitting the object and then the object is going to try to move towards where the point, the point or the end of the raycast is. So it's pretty much going to fly at us. So in order to fix that, you have to put layer in our raycast. So I'll go ahead from here, okay, drag that into our pointer prefab. Now you can go ahead and delete this object and now we can start our script. Uh, I'm gonna put it right here under camera scripts, right click, make an EC sharp script. I'm gonna call it pointer script. And now that it's loaded, we're gonna be ready to set it up. So first of all, the first variable now we're going to set up it's going to be that prefab spawning that prefab so I can go ahead and say public game object and then you just going to put a lowercase pointer prefab now inside the update function in here is where we're going to do a raycast so for the raycast you need a variable name ray and I'm gonna actually name it ray and that's gonna equal camera dot uh, let's see camera dot main camera dot uh, let's see screen point to ray then in there you can just put input dot mouse position so whatever your or mouse is at our camera is going to shoot a ray towards the mouse cursor. Okay. So that's going to be the first one. The next variable is so we can register the hit if we hit something, and that is going to be a raycast hit. I'm going to call it hit. Now continuing on, I'm going to do the if statement, so if physics.raycast, so the first one's going to be the ray, which is the ray that we made, next one's going to be our hit variable, actually you actually have to type out hit, I don't know why, but if you don't type the out word in front of it, it's not going to take it. And then the next one's gonna be the distance. We're not gonna actually set up a distance. We're just gonna be infinitely shooting the ray cast out. If we set up a distance, let's say 10, even if we don't use the plane, it's not gonna spawn the object because it has to hit something. That's the trick of it. So in order to make it infinite, just do this keyword, which is math f dot infinity. And close that off. Close it up again, and set up my stuff right here like that okay now we're going to make another private variable which is gonna be the pointer prefab as a clone so private game object pointer and name it pointer clone yeah normally when you're shooting the bullet we'll say something for example if uh, you know game object clone then you say instantiate the bullet well, we have to make sure if the clone exists, or else it's going to instantiate the bullet every time. So I'll keep continuing on the next video.